Hello and welcome to Sunagari Chess School. Now this game I saw on Keymailer, I said, hey it looks interesting. Then I saw in the um, description that I have a feeling this might be uh, a little bit like uh, Doki Doki Literature Club. It says, this game contains scenes that might be disturbing to some. It's like, hmm, yeah I think this might have some Doki Doki um, themes to it so. You pick up your phone. The sun shines brightly through your window. Chess school at 9 p.m. or 9, 8, 9 o'clock today. That's the reminder you send your phone for your scheduled chess class. Outside is a sunny morning and the birds are chirping. Now, I will say, I've played chess before. I'm nowhere near good at it. I definitely couldn't do any type of competitive chess at all, so. Today is the day you finally decide to check out the chess school. After all, you decide to try out learning chess with others because you felt bored and perhaps lonely. Okay, that's my phone. Look around. Look around your room. This is your house. It looks quite cozy. Cossy. Could be a Z there. Check desk. You notice a snack sitting on your desk. It appears to be a box of chocolate sticks. Oh, so it's a uh, Pocky or Offering Pocky. Sure, I'll take the Pocky. <clears throat> chocolate sticks being a healthy snack? Uh, this healthy snack is sure to give you strength when you feel down. Box of chocolate six imaginative inventory. <clears throat> Rush to school. It's a calm summer Saturday morning. As you stroll through the quiet local streets, you make your way towards the school. You pass by people going about their day, each seemingly lost in their own routines. It is said the chess school has been long running and is the local pride of the town. Students and chess enthusiasts even from other schools and towns come here. Even so, I can't help but wonder if I'll meet some friendly faces there. Oh, hi there. A girl approaches you well with a smile. You see, I'm a bit lost. Are you heading to the chess school as well? I thought so. I'm actually heading there too. I haven't seen your class before, so it's your first time here. For hi hi. While we go there together. By the way, I'm Hina Amari. I'm from the nearby town, but I come here on weekends. This way. Here we are. This is Shakuragi High School. Our chess school isn't widely known yet, but we've determined to change that. But change to be has some unusual people show up. But the majority are really kind. I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Alright, let's head in. We hold lessons on the floor above, and classroom does not in use otherwise. I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding our class for next week. I follow him, him Ari, upstairs to the second floor, which is now empty for activities. We're here. This room right here. As you open the door, you open the door as you enter the classroom. A girl gently smiles at you. Hiya. Welcome to the chess class. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm, I'm Yumiko. As the president, I handle registering new members and organizing events. Eh, another boy? 
You made the right choice come here. Trust me. Why is she missing an eye? Someone who to bully. Hehe. <laughs> Let's not scare him off right away, Rim Rin. Well, I guess it's your first time, isn't it? What are you, what are you playing here? Huh? So what got you interested in play in chess? I was bored. Hino Hinomari introduced me. I'm a professional chess enjoyer. I'm not sure actually. I suddenly woke up with an alarm for it. I'll say I was bored. Don't you worry. I'm sure we'll get along well just fine. After all, I'm here. You just say for the same reason even. There's no boredom to be had when you're with me. Yumiko weeks at you. Mm. Yumiko. The chess school has been long running. I've been here for one year now. So then. As for formalities, can I ask you to fill in the registration form? Yumiko hands you the registration form. Enter name. Norsok. Personality. I'll be an introvert, because that's the way I am, kind of. Favorite dessert. Everyone must bring a snack for their partners on free reading. I'll say chocolate cookies. We're here about us. I just met Hinamari, so I can't say that. That's a lie. Usually you count like 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 4, 8, 16. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, I guess. North Hawk. Oh, that's interesting. You must not be for me, right? But North Hawk is a cute name. I like it. Thank you. Well, make sure to remember it. Hello, North Hawk. I'm Kenji, the chess master of this class. I'm glad to have you here. As you may already know, there are 16 members. We divide into four groups of four members. Every Saturday, I will do an opening move or strategy, and a new chess setup will be presented. You will play one round against your opponent and recognize moves I taught you. We'll start in about five minutes. Why don't you meet your group members meanwhile? You're so lucky, Norsok. I'm the captain of your coop. I'll keep your company, so don't worry. Bees. This is going to go bad. This is going to go real bad. I can tell this already. This is definitely Doki Doki Literature Club in chess form. That leaves you, Ren and Darrell. That goes out earlier. Eyes you and approaches you. Why say hi to me? That's scary already. Haha. <laughs> Looks like we're the same group. Isn't it just for for sure for you? I came all the way from the other side of Sakuragi City, so you could. I came here all the way from the other side of Sakuragi City, so you better not be just a beating bag, Norsok. Heh. <laughs> you can sense Rin is bullying you. You feel the presence of another girl waiting to say hi. She stands close to you but feels shy. Hi, I'm Arel. Oh, she looks like she's trouble. Those eyes. I think she's gonna be yonder, eh? Thank you for joining our school. I'm also a Sakuragi member, resident, but I'm not from this high school. I'm glad to play with you and look forward to become friends. So let's go along well. Arel blushes and looks away. Okay, class. I've noticed there are quite a few new members that are beginners. Today I will start with a basic lesson. Today's lesson, Center Control. This is an important concept in chess. The significance of opening up the pawns in the center at the start of your game. Controlling the central squares gives you greater mobility and influence over the board. By controlling this area, you establish a strong foundation for your pieces to operate from. If you don't open these lines early, your pieces remain trapped behind your pawns. 
In summary, starting with pawn moves, it open the center sets up the stage and gives you the strategic edge. Keep this in mind as you play your games and remember, the center is where the action begins. Now I would like you to play against your partner. You'll each get a move, after which I will evaluate your moves. You may begin. No sock. I am your partner today. Are you ready? Opening moves are quite easy. Here we go. The game always begins with the white making the first move. That's you. It's your turn, so make your choice. Well, they said go to the center, so I'll do... There. Phew, but move no sock. You follow through with the strategy. I'm guess you, I guess you take it through approach. Damn right, I don't have a chest very much. Well done, Dorsak. Now, how shall I respond? It... You got the blocking technique? Look, I'm by your side. Hi. I will check. I will protect you, Dorsak. You're my enemy. But I'll repeat this game together. Good opener for both of you. Dorsak, you chose a over the center, as I told you. And Yumiko chose to be your opening. The center of the board gives you more mobility from which to move in any direction. Good job, both of you. That concludes today's lesson. See you all in the next class. Wow, that was that was some deep, hard-hitting chess. The class day is over, and the members prepare to get home. Let's see. Text now. Items. Calendar. Oh, I didn't mean to close the game. Okay, interaction. Look around. As this class concludes, the room fills with lively chatter. The members are happily conversing with their partner, gathering their belongings, and preparing to head home. There were 15, 16 people in the room. I guess I'll talk with Yumiko. It's already time to go home, isn't it? Say no, Sark. Well, I'll ask you something. Let's go aside. No, you can't have my liver. No, Sark. What did I tell you? I had lots of fun with you today. I felt like I spent precious time with someone that understands me. You still can't have my liver. I'm sorry. And I'd like to know more about you. Let's like just share our phones. Maybe we can text each other any time. Yeah, give me our contact information. Confirm. Oh, that's cute. We have the same phone. Does that bring good luck or something? Well, I'll see you later then, Norse Hawk. You may go silence gently at you. Okay, nothing to do with interaction. Oh, I guess I'll go home. Look around outside. This is the main street connects your home to the school. There are often students walking around. Let's go to the park. Look around. You look around. It's a pleasant day. Students are walking around the park enjoying the afternoon. Oh, hello. Excuse me, sir. I was walking behind you. I think you dropped this key. Is it yours? Uh, no, it's not mine. Guess the owner's here anymore. I'll just keep it for now. Anyway, it's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sora. Also means Sky, okay. Usually I take my afternoon walk around here. Just look around and see what people are up to. 
Yes, you could say I'm more curious than anything else. Aha. So you come around here? I don't think I've seen you before. Maybe I'm just not as observed as that thought. So yes, I'm from around here. You also get to be careful. I've been hearing news that the cries has been rising in the city in the past few months. The chessboard murders. It's better to keep an eye out from any strange people. You never know who might be lurking around, right? Have you seen or met any strange people lately? Oh, uh, yeah, that ring girl was kind of strange. So I'll say, yeah, I met a strange girl at chess school. I see. The local Sakurai chess school. She give you strange vibes? I don't think she's anything to be worried about. That's cool girl, really. We're all strange in some way out, after all, aren't we? Well, it's time to head home. I have dinner to cook. See you then. And yeah, nothing else around here. Look around again. No, nothing. Okay, and I guess we'll just go to the street. And we'll go to home. Oh. Text. Northlock, hi, did you get home already? Let me go typing. You look on glad. I know you're in an introvert after all. I wanted to let you know I'm happy to meet you today. I'm sorry, this is really small, so I've got a small, small laptop screen, so it's a little hard to read this. You can go typing. Yumiko, what do you do usually when you're home alone? Do you uh, like spending time by yourself? I'll say no. I feel it too, sometimes, the loneliness. But anyways, do you like sweets? Like um, strawberry pie? Yeah, that's fine. Strawberry pie is fine. Got it. Thanks for telling me. See you next week. Okay. Close the phone. See you today too? Uh, not yet. Let's check, make sure there's nothing else going on here. No, uh, nothing here. No, nothing here. Okay, I guess we're going to day two then. Go to sleep. Day two. Which is technically probably day eight, because it's going to be next Saturday probably, because normal school days are probably skipped over. Okay, look around. Okay, nothing there. Check the desk. Your desk is empty. Turn on TV. You turn on the TV. Looks like it's the weather channel. Good morning, Sakuragi City. We're expecting a warm summer breeze for today. Skies will be mostly clear. Prefer visits to Sakuragi Park. The graphic shifts to show the temperatures. Okay. We're out to school. Okay, we're getting jumped around here. Let's see. Look around. You look around. Looks like a normal day in Sakuragi City. Okay, move. Enter to school. Uh, let's actually look around for nope, nothing here. Okay, go upstairs. Okay, and enter classroom. We're on rails here. You enter the classroom once again. Ah, oh, hello. Are you part of doing today's lesson? We met last week, but didn't have much time to use with each other. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Arel, Arel Sakoyo. It's my pleasure to play with you today. 
I've always had a deep interest for chess. Interesting to me for some reason. It's a game of strategy and intellect, where status don't ma doesn't matter. Given your presence, it seems you also enjoy it. I've always found it a wonderful escape from the great pressures and judgments of everyday life. I was born to the Sokoyo fa Sa Sayopo family, one of the wealthiest families in the country. So they make you to wear a uh, maid dress, okay. People often think they know everything about me because of that. They assume I'm just another rich girl with no real problems. Like dressing as maid. It feels like people only see the wealth and not, not the person behind it. The air felt like you just judged for something beyond your control. I know it might seem strange, but... I'm glad you're here. I also have guard interested. It's not my, just my guard. It's a collection of trees I attend to. There's something peaceful at nursing them. I have cherry trees, maple trees, and wisteria in my garden. Each tree has its own character. Watching them grow and change for the season. And here comes Rin. Sounds you guys are having fun. Care if I join in? Go away, Cyclops. Oh, me and Norsehawk were just talking. I was home by myself my thoughts with Jess. I know you've been here long enough, Sorrel, so you don't have to rub it in our faces. You know, we should try some different royal activities once in a while. In fact, didn't royal families used to hunt? You should come hunting sometime with me. You know, dinner doesn't magically appear in your plate. Yes, you did mention something about hunting. You hunt boars, right? Yeah, I go hunting once in a while in the forest near the mountain. But ever since I lost my friend in that accident, I tried to take my mind off of it. It's just that hobbies don't die easily. Anyways, hey, Norsok! Hope I didn't make you run for the hills like after last week. We'll play next time. Now, just now, enjoy your practice with the rel. Good morning, class. We will now begin today's lesson. Last week's lesson was controlling the center. Today's lesson is equally important. Don't rush pawn moves. In the opening phase of the game, it's easy to be tempted into pushing several pawns forward. However, excessive pawn moves become a trap. While pawns are important, each, more, each move they make leads behind a weakness. A squire that can no longer be defended by another pawn. Imagine your knights are waiting for orders. If you spend too much time pushing pawns, the knights remain inactive. Your history becomes vulnerable. Instead, focus on developing your knights. Let them get into the game early, where they can control important squares and support your center. Very well. It's time for a match against your partner. You may begin. Let's give it our best, Norsehawk. Looks like the center pawns have already been moved to create an opening. Okay. I mean, we have one move. Queen will take either one. Oh, Queen's here. Excellent move, Norsehawk. You haven't learned about the queen, but you already know how to use it. Let me guess, your are Irish chess? Let's see. A knight. Okay. Like this. I think that opening it on itself is quite good. Here comes a previous letter. Interesting choice from both of you. No sock. Just move your queen is dead. My own knight remained with a knight move. Bringing out the queen early can be tempting. She's the most powerful piece, but it's a double-edged sword. While she can dominate the board, an easily early queen move risks her being chased around. She can be lethal if you're probably implementing a good plan for her. Well done, both of you. That concludes today's lesson. See you all in the next class. The class A is over. The members be here to get home. Okay, no interaction. Oh, my phone. A girl approaches you. Hi there. 
Oh, you look creepy, don't you? I noticed you seem to be looking at your phone quite often. Is something wrong? Nothing. Why do you ask? I see. I was just curious. First talk, great. Right? I'm Misaki Toshino. Nice to meet you. A fan of the Trust Company. You've heard about it. Coming here my days off lets me take my mind off a busy life in the capital. She just seemed to like your moves on board so far. I would like to have a cunt mastery someday. I believe this is a strategy and foresight required in chess. You're quite similar to running a business. You suck your answer to your phone. With that said, I want to take my leave now. Until next time, Orsak. Hi, Orsak. Class was fun today, wasn't it? You know, there's some strange new members that joined, we say. But don't mind them. As long as I'm here with you, there's nothing to worry about. Really? Anyways, class is finished and I'm feeling a bit hungry. How about you? Let's grab something to eat together. You remember if I asked you if I could strap her a pie? Well, this is cafe nearby that lake. I'm sure you'll like it too. Huh? Yumiko takes your hand and leads you outside. Here we are. You and Yuko, Yumiko sit down at a table. Yumiko orders a strawberry pie for both of you. Oh, she's taking the lead in your relationship. Alrighty. Oh, Sock, I just remembered. I haven't told you my full name yet. It is Yumiko, Yumiko Okino. I grew up in Sakuragi City just as well. I know some of the people from this chess school since we have studied here in the same school. Although, I must have spent my days at home in my room. You know, I'm glad that you'd be spending time with me. We're different together in class. There's something about you that makes me feel less alone. Sometimes it feels like you're the only person, the only person actually alive in this world. You have that feeling too? Uh, sure, I guess. The public controlling parents would never let me leave the home. I was not allowed to join clubs and didn't have anyone to play with. So I spent most of my time reading mangas. I would buy them after class and bring them home. My favorite games were psychological and time travel mangas. Seeing how one small change in the past can alter everything, I could talk about them for hours, trying to come up with theories to solve the story. Oh, the strawberry pie has arrived. Yumiko cuts out a piece of the pie. Don't you feel happy eating together? Let's screw each other's loneliness. Hi, hi. Yumiko spoon feeds you a piece of the pie. Oh boy, she's definitely forward, isn't she? Yumiko smiles sweetly at you. Yummy, right? I thought I'd learn baking so I could make a strawberry pie at home. And, you know, share with someone else. But, recently our parents died in Parifs. Oh no. And I've only felt depression and loneliness since then. I've always wanted to speak like we're person I like. I'll bake the pie with you. North Hawk? Hi. I'm really happy you said that. You make blushes. No one's ever been nice, kind of man. You make her quickly eat the rest of her pie while looking away in shyness. You and Yuko finish up the meal and it's come time to go home again. Thanks for coming, dear Norzak. Let's meet again next Saturday. See ya. Okay. It's a street. So she's just a bit messed up. You look around. Looks like a normal day in Sakuragi City. Well, let's go to the park real quick. Look around. It's a pleasant afternoon in the park. 
choosing some cu uh, couples to take leisurely walks. Oh, here comes uh, Misaki. Oh, hi. What a pleasant surprise. It's you from chess school. Force talk, right? I'm with the group for class, but that doesn't matter. Why don't we go for a walk together? I come here quite often. It's a perfect place to think and observe. You see, I'm a electronics engineer back home. The less the data and patterns gets exhausting. The park is a great place to clear my mind. Dorsalk, can you enjoy puzzles? Swords, mysteries to make you think for days and even weeks? Sorry from chess I for you reading historical fiction? I find it fascinating to explore different eras and perspectives. I try to understand larger scale things and the reasons below the surface. If you ever want air recommendations, I'll be happy to share. I always look for someone to discuss my theories with. You know, I've been wanting to get to know you better. Let me ask you some questions. First question. Did you choose Reaper to live in the future or the past? Hmm. I think the future. There's a certain excitement in the unknowns there, or also better graphics cards and computer parts. Do you think you'll find something in the future will change where you are today? Or are you more intrigued by the possibilities of technology and innovation? Think about it and tell me tomorrow. This park is quite popular with our classmates. Nuts who are couples here are walking around. That I saw in the other groups in class. Isn't it wholesome? I don't have a boyfriend because I'm off busy with work. But... Is it someone from the class that you're particularly interested in? Uh, yeah, there's someone who stands out to me. Oh, really? Someone who stands out? I see. Must be quite a captivating person to make a certain impression. One of which saw about that and tries you and sister Angelique to run late. Well, I don't want to get give her the wrong message and have both of them pissed off at me, so. Since the day is winding down, it was time for us to head home. I would join a conversation, so I'll try to discuss such intriguing topics. I'll go home and catch up at Tariri. Until next time, Norsar, take care on your way home. And nothing else to go here. Yeah, we're good here. To street. <laughs> and to home. Okay. Let's do one more day, then we'll go ahead and um, call it a video here. See day three? Sure, let's go to sleep. Progress has been saved. Day three. Okay, check the desk. No, I saw him put more snacks on the desk. Okay. How's the weather today? Looks like there's an important news announcement. Good morning, Sakuragi City. We begin today with a developing story. Authorities are currently assessing a murder that occurred near Sakuragi High School early this morning. Oh shit. We'll keep you updated with information because it's available. Meantime, please stay vigilant. The broadcast shifts to the next story. Uh, someone got ganked by the school. That's not good. Uh, yeah, just my room. No doing testages, okay. Now rock to school. Uh, look around and you looks like there are fewer people on the street than usual. Yeah, uh, I mean someone getting murdered is kind of a one who got ganked. Okay, enter school. There, okay, Go upstairs. Nothing here, okay, enter classroom. Okay. You enter the classroom once again. Hey, Norsok. Looks like it's you and me today. 
you should know, I'm not as kind of royal as Arella here. Hey, hey. I wonder, should I go easy on you just because you're new? You'd lose your... Lose, you should treat me just chocolate cookies. Yeah, that choice of the membership form is for me. Or should I say it's the rule for losers? You might just become my prey to Hunter after a <laughs> minute. a bit different from chasing down boars in the forest, but the thrill of the hunt is still the same. Kinamari is standing in front of the class. Good morning, everyone. It appears the teacher's absent today. We aren't sure where he is or if he'll be coming today. But there's no need to worry. I've been appointed to charge lessons for the teacher's sick. Was continue lesson of today as normally? I have this journal with lesser say so I can handle it. Hinamari, I assure you it's been appointed you specifically stand in for him. How remember this ever being discussed before? I'll be taking over to for today. So Yumiko has suggest you stay out of admin matters. I don't really care who's in charge. Can we just get out of class start get the class started? She might be late. There's no need to get worked up. Alright, then class begins. Today we'll learn about King Safe Day. The king is the most important piece on the board. Then keeping you safe is your top priority in every game. You can be winning in pieces. Your king isn't secure. All that could crumble in an instant. Even your king in the center for too long can be risky. As the game progresses, the center tends to open up, making your king an easy target. And that's where worth castling comes in. Castling is a special move. Let's you buck. Tuck your king safe face at corner, also bringing your rook into play. It's still a time in chess where you can move two pieces at once. Everybody remember, casting isn't just about safety. It's also about timing. You want to be cast early enough to keep your king out of danger. The not so early that you miss out on key development moves. A safe king is a heavy is a happy king. The happy king means a strong position. Let's get started. Proceed to the board where you partner. Well, it's not a very hard choice now, is it? But at least hope you'll learn something. Well, hard to screw that one up. Just so you know, you haven't lost yet. My turn now. Wow, you castle too, amazing. Kind of lame, I didn't get to take you pieces of king. You'll have to wait for that Norsok. Well done. I see you both you the castle. It's all about using the moves return in practice. Excellent, Norsehawk. I hope you all use this move all more often as it's often overlooked. Let's impress the teacher next week with that what we've learned. So that's all for today. Next week we're going to inform you about the desert desert event what we have planned. So just be sure to pre uh, sure to be present. See y'all. Where everyone's getting ready to leave, Hinamari, to make sure way to your desk. Hi, Norsehawk. Want to talk to you a bit more of class? Thanks for participating today. Bro, having lots of fun, I'm glad you joined our class. Wonder what could have happened if you didn't stumble across me that day? Would you have even joined our class? You know, you're lucky to have such an observant friend. Oh, and by the way, there's something I've been wanting to tell you. I wanted to ask you out on a uh. 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 Uh, hello? Dear participants, due to early death, the game shall commence earlier than planned. Dear players, I will now explain the rules of the game to you. Welcome to my world. I'm the god of time and space, your game master in this reality. I have selected 16 of you participate in my game. 
There are 16 phones, left by 16 players. We each one is the owner of a phone. First of all, let me inform you, texting and sending messages is now disabled. Additionally, your phone has been updated with three new functions. One, in a live counter, informing you of the reigning players. The players are live counter at the top of your phone. will tell you how many players are still alive and remaining in the game. Two, the Sora ping system detected nearby phones. Please take note that a new application has become available on your phone. The application allows you to scan your surroundings. It will tell you if any other phones have been detected in a 15 meter radius around you. However, note that you can only use this function once per day. 3. The phone itself acts as a life flag. Only one player will be left staying at the end. This phone is essential to your survival. In this game, elimination means death. Traditionally, players can be eliminated by having their phone destroyed terminating their connection to the game, and thus turning in your life. Be aware that other players will be actively using that ping function to locate you. Therefore, I suggest you not to you should not evade or sit out this battle. Those who build a castle to isolate themselves will be dragged out. This world, you must face the reality of death, and overcome it if you wish to live. As for the win of the game, there is a reward. Your strongest desire will be fulfilled. As to say, whatever your soul desires the most, I will bring light to existence. Everyone else will perish. That is all. Good luck. Okay. That escalated quickly. That escalated real quickly. Uh, check desk. Desk is empty, okay. Look around. Looks normal. Turn on TV. There's no signal on the TV. Okay. Go back. That's the ping. That's the calendar. Okay. There's no one to be seen around. To park. Park appears empty. You hear rustling in the leaves. I will reveal myself. Norsok, don't be scared. I won't attack you. We don't in killing. My only goal is to create a world without judgment. I suggest we team up. If you see Ren, she, will, like, she likely won't kill you. Let's tell her that we can beat our usual times at the cafe. While I was here observing, I spotted a car I see running through the park. He was gripping a pair of bloody scissors. He must be running away from school. You best flip up to achieve some situational awareness. I'll stay here to monitor the park, check out the school, so you maximize initial information gathering. Afterwards, let's meet at the cafe. By the way, do you know something about your phone? I tried entering different numbers on the keypad and calling them. I swear if there are certain numbers that you can call to do something. During class, I would sometimes see Gimiko Misaki typing on their phones. In any case, it's worth looking into. See you later, then. Let's get out of this alive. Okay. The street. I mean, do I really want to go to the school? Yeah, I'm just by a stranger. Well, well, well. I see my friend gets him there's no one else here. That means you're a player. And you know... Doug can come out with unfinished business weighing you down. It starts somewhere. Let's reduce the numbers, shall we?
Okay. Items. Okay. I'm probably not going to make it. Oh, shot rings to the air. Lap. I bet that's weird. <laughs> Yes, girl, bowling for class window. Maybe he does a hairdresser to come inside. Decided to make a one for a walk inside. Hey, dummy. Don't just get yourself wiped out back there. Good thing I was around. You'd be toast by now. If it wasn't me, you'd have been cooked by that guy. Rinse sash your phone with a sly grin. You owe me big time. So if you want to stay alive, you're going to follow my orders. I, the great wing, Kakomo, will lead us to victory. And you, you're my loyal servant. You see that crazy guy? That guy came charging me with a, like a wild born on a rampage. I was already tracking him for some time before he had no clue. No sense, no strategy, just pure blind aggression. Have you ever seen a wild boar before? I dealt with plenty of those back in the forest. Takes more than some reckless idiot to take me down. You can say I'm pretty good at tracking things down. From now on, you're sticking with me. I really need someone to keep you out of trouble. And I need someone who won't slow me down too much. Now, you heard the big guy talking. There are 16 of us in the game. Well, it's rather 14 now. These people were like roaming around Sakuragi City and the school. There's someone we need to talk to. Someone who might have some information that could be helpful. That's Arel. She just hangs out at the cafe. If we're lucky, she'll be there knowing if they often invites me there with her. She's a sharp girl, knows more than she lets on. Let's go over there and see if we can find her. We might have some valuable information. We need to start by gathering information. I'm not going to sit around waiting for someone to kill me in my sleep. I'm pretty sure that everyone who is present in that classroom is not part of the game. Now that I think about it, I did see other people in the school using a similar phone to mine, the same as you, you have as well. But how could it possibly kill us? Is the damn thing going to explode if it breaks? Whatever happens, if we need to use the ping scan, I'll use yours first. I will stay as a backup. Now I'm wondering what Arel's plan will be. Best if you survive for long in this situation. We will not understand this mate like others. Prepare for the worst. Things get tough, I will wink at you. That's your sign they make a run for it. I can lay down fire and get out of there. Hope you're at least good at running. Ren and you proceed to the cafe. You and Ren to the cafe trying to stir attention. Looks like the coast is clear. I see her. You and Ren approach her. Aurel knows you both. Doesn't make any signals. You and Ren sit across from her. Hi. I was right by my stations. You come, you come here, Ren. I'd like to start by telling you that we should refrain from murdering each other. In fact, I think it's a lot you don't know. A lot you should know. Lee is a reason behind this game. And we could use it to our advantage as well. I guess I'm alive. So I need to... So you need to hear this. I know we've been friends for years. There's something I haven't told you. I've been here for a while, even before you joined the chess school. Remember the car crash incident in School Street? Is it quite similar to the murder on the news? That disappearance of the true throwing day of the game? I believe you can figure this out. Then you can't kill me right here because it's a public space. But I want you to listen. We have to find a way out of this together instead of murdering each other. Hmm. That's for, that's for sure interesting. Have you any of you seen the other players originally? Besides you two, not yet. But I have an idea of where the shoe may be. I have a strategy of how you can use our three sonar pings to locate them by accuracy. For now, it's just we choose a place to stay at. What about your place, friend? Yeah, it looks like we can't use the phones for calling either. It's just we meet up tomorrow at a hunting hideout I use. I'll give you the address. Let's meet there tomorrow during at sunrise. In the meantime, click more information and write us down. Write down plans. Me and Norsak are going back there to sit up the hideout. We should try to head back to the school premise and see if there's any... Useful answers, we need to press our advantage. It's early in, I doubt anyone has even looked at. 
I doubt anyone has any lethal weapons like my gun yet. So let's group here, and we'll start from there. Understood. See you guys tomorrow. When you continue walking to reach a small clearing in the forest, Mill sends a wooden cabin. This is it, my sanctuary in the hellish game. I'll stay here tonight, but remember, you're only here because I let you be. Got it? The place is only safe as long as no one finds it. For instance, in the bed. I guess you've never used a firearm huh, before. Maybe it's better you haven't. You know. I lived with trauma since I was little. I've had friends who introduced me to hunting. She was different, strong, fearless. She would hunt boars in the forest and catch me and teach me how to fire the sniper. We spent weeks out there. She was like a sister to me. One day, we were out hunting in the afternoon. She was using the sniper while scouting the area for animals. Then suddenly, I heard her scream. A boar, a bear had attacked her. I, I rushed to find her, heart pounding in my chest. But when I arrived, the bear was on her. Must have been in an ambush. She had given me a grenade for emergencies, life-threatening situations like these. So I threw a grenade behind the bear, trying to get it off her. But it was too late. The grenade incapacitated the bear, but there was no signs of life anymore. And the grenade shrapnel hit my eye, taking my right eye out for good. I understand the fear of being hunted, the fear of death, something that never leaves you. I wish I could bring her back to life. But listen, I like you. You had a certain resilience. Let's stick together for, let's stick together for now. The least I can do for you is this. Brain hands you a flashbang, which has to linger for a brief moment. Don't mention it, just don't die on me, okay? As time passes, it becomes night. Tomorrow we will wait for a rail and for another plan. Let's have a night's rest for now. Uh, where should I sleep? Hey. There's only one bed. Watch to share it. Don't get any ideas, though. Nice quiet, and you both drift to sleep. Progress has been saved. So I'm going to leave this here at this point. Uh, this definitely seems like an interesting story. Uh, it took a turn I definitely didn't expect. I was expecting more of the girls to start going crazy and trying to kill each other and stuff like that. And instead, we have a gigantic hunting game. So I'm going to leave it here. Uh, if you like the game, uh, drop a like. If you like my content, uh, drop a follow. And I always love comments, so do you please leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And goodbye.